Gregor McKenzie of the Couch and Bulldogs program brings an arsenal of athletic ability to the field every day. Gregor's versatility is a testament to his commitment to becoming a better all-around athlete as he heads into his final season with the Cowichan's Midget program next fall. 2020 has been a challenging year for young athletes, but the VI South Football Academy has been a bright spot for Gregor and his will to succeed. Can you tell me about your VI South South football experience? You know, it's been a tough year, but you guys are out here with a whole bunch of different coaches and, and uh, other players from different teams. It must be kind of cool. Yeah, I enjoy coming out here, playing out with everyone. Um, I think it's really great how we have like all different coaches and everybody coming down. Like especially for me, since I'm like a linebacker now from going from D line, I think it's I wouldn't be here where I am like without like this. And I've noticed I've gotten a lot better at my position and stuff because of this. So I think it's I think it's awesome. How did you get into football? Well, actually, back in 2017, I was always into football. You know, like watching it. Like my parents always watched it too. Um, but one of my, my uh, buddies at school, Hunter, uh, he uh, kind of made me play football. And honestly, um, my first year, I was going in there pretty confident, but then I got like rattled a lot and I, I honestly wanted to quit. But like, I know I, I knew I just shouldn't have quit and just kept on going and I'm here where I am and I'm happy I didn't quit. What do you uh, like most about playing football? I honestly love the, uh, like, like the team aspect of it probably. I like the fact where like, if one person doesn't do their job, like the whole team crumbles. Like, like if you miss a block, like the play's done. I feel like it's kind of different from like, let's say hockey. Like if you miss like a check, you can kind of like rebound from that. Uh, how have coaches impacted you throughout your football journey? You know, you got some great coaches out at, uh, at college and it's been, a, it's been a good one for you. Tell me about that. Oh, they've been great. Um, ever since I came in in uh, 2017, they've, they've always like wanted to grow me and, and they've always had like confidence in me that I honestly never had. And um, honestly, out of like my Team BC, ABC Bull coaches, they've all, like, I've all got like one message, and it's the same out of everyone, is that we're here to get better. And I've, I've kind of implied that in literally everything. Like, going to the gym, I'm there to get better. And then going to school, of course, I'm there to get better. And I've just implied that in everything, and, and it's, and it's uh, worked out for me. What are you currently working on now to become more successful in uh, at, you know, when the games start again? Um, I'm obviously working towards to be a better linebacker and just I want to like learn more about the game like because I have to like read plays now and everything a lot more and I just want to be be better at that and like learning how to like drop back better in zones like I'm always open for any like anything I, I do wrong and I'm just I want to get better. Gregor I mean that kid works his tail off um, he's an all-out athlete you can put him in any spot um, in couch and we ran a flag football league uh, this past year and uh, Gregor <laughs> shined at receiver. I think he led in that little group uh, division thing um, in receptions and all that kind of stuff, touchdowns. Uh, you can put that kid anywhere and he is attentive to everything you put in front of him. Um, again, whether it's linebacker or now, uh, I'm the linebacker coach so it's great to work with him uh, at that different position and he takes everything in works hard at it uh, and he's just a coachable player and, and that's the best thing about him he's such a coachable player and uh, yeah he works his tail off tell me about the sport from your family you know throughout a football journey like you know I know it's a, a good support just tell me about that system sport system um well, I'm a, my mom's always watched football and I've always been into it and um, it just grown from there and managed to play and I love it the past year it's been a challenging one for uh, you know young athletes take away the negative impact and tell me something positive that, see, that you got out of the last year Honestly, I think just being at home got like the chance to like really think about like what I want in like football and everything and like just you know like just stopping and just thinking like uh, how I want to become better in the game and uh, I've been on like a diet for like the past seven months and I'm obviously switched positions and that's okay but I feel so much better and faster and I think that the pandemic really got me to stop and think about everything. What do you think is the best way to help build a sport of football in the community? I think just to give everyone a chance that just doesn't have like like the chance or the money to play football like kind of like we're doing like right now except like it's of course in the pandemic you know but like I just want to give like everyone the uh, opportunity to play football who doesn't have the opportunity. If you had unlimited funding uh, how would you give back to the, community, the football community? I think to like install like turf fields everywhere I think that that would help a lot um, and I think like for like couch and sake like home and like away jerseys we have like a jersey right now but like maybe like away jersey, alternate jersey, kind of like stuff like that. I feel like that would like kind of, like maybe like more like sponsorships could uh, grow our game quite a bit through the province and everything. How do you find a balance between school and football? 
you know, I think school's number one, but like, I think your time at school is your time at school, you work your ass off there, and then after, you know, I go to the gym, and then if you have any extra time to do your homework, you go and do it, but I feel like that it's a pretty good balance that I have going on. Uh, what are you looking for to take a full second of it? Um, I don't know any specific classes, but I'm thinking like conservation or like go into like the uh, police force, something like that. Oh, that's awesome. Um, yeah. Good for you. Here we're going to have some fun rapid fire questions. For All you, right. Okay? Um, <laughs> ocean or lake? Lake. Lake for sure. Seafood or pasta? Seafood. Math or English? English. Yeah. Yes, English. <laughs> Offense or defense? Defense. Yeah. Favorite emoji? Gotta go with the, uh, the guns emoji. Beauty. Uh, dogs or cats? Dogs. Spring or fall? Spring. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's a good one. A night at the movies or out for dinner? Gotta go out for dinner. Three or four down football? I think four down just get more plays on defense. <laughs> extra play, <laughs> extra sack. I love it. That's good. Okay, and a few fun questions. What chore do you dislike the most? Honestly, washing the dishes. Yeah. Just takes too much time. I'm with you. <laughs> what do you find to be the most boring sport and why? Not that all sports, but you know, just so I watch on TV. What's it what's like a boring sport? I would honestly say golf. I know some people enjoy it, like my grandma and, and everything, but like, I just find it boring and it's slow. Gotcha. Um, okay, you've been uh, selected to be in a tag team match against The Rock and Hulk Hogan at WrestleMania. Which academy coach would you choose as your partner? Oh, definitely Coach Phil. <laughs> definitely Coach Phil. He's he's uh, big and he could uh, tag me in when uh, when he gets like kind of slowish and kind of tired and I'll I'll be in. But uh, I don't think we're going to be Hulk Hogan and The Rock though. <laughs> What's Coach Phil's move? Um. Attitude adjustment. <laughs> I got the RKO, Randy Orton. <laughs> if you compare yourself to any animal, what would that be and why? I would say chimpanzee. Honestly, because I feel like they're really underrated. Like, monkeys are freaking strong. And I feel like, strong. you know, I'm not like the biggest guy anymore. Like, I would have said gorilla, but I'm not that big. Yeah. But like, I feel like a chimpanzee is really athletic and can do a lot of damage. If you uh, could hang out with uh, one per person, living or dead, who would that be and why? Living or dead, I would say Ray Lewis. I feel like he's a great like inspiration, and like I love his motivation and everything, and I love his football game. And or I would say probably Dwayne Johnson. He seems like a really fun guy too. Um, would you rather catch a pass from Tom Brady or Mahomes? <sighs> Tom Brady. Tell me why. Just, just his passes and his beautiful lobs. I just think. I think it'd be pretty cool to say that I caught a pass from Tom Brady, greatest quarterback of all time, in my opinion. 100%. <laughs> okay. Okay, would you rather have a third eye or a third arm? Probably a third arm. Mm. Third arm. Good. Grow another big arm when you're working out in the gym. <laughs> there you go. If you had a choice between two superpowers, flying or invisible, which would it be and why? Probably be maybe invisible. I can go places where I'm not supposed to. <laughs> within reason, right? Yeah, within reason. <laughs> Gregor's focus on schoolwork and a solid workout routine and the will to become the best athlete he can be, it's impressive and bodes well for post-secondary opportunities down the road. My name is Cam Swift with U Sports Production and ISN. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you on the field.